Did everybody doubt me like you did? Nightweaver's band. A little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. You mean the condescending prick? Called the Nightweaver's band. Mm -hmm. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much-needed oomph. Oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. Does death not come to us? Okay, assist? let's see what this knight whatever does. Sneaking is 10% better. Destruction spells cost 10% less to cast. Huh. See, if I disenchanted this, would I get both things? Like, as a double? Probably not. Is it not a certainty? I am therefore honored to be Doom's herald. But it's not it's not bad if I used either of those things, but I don't. Well, I use sneak, but whatever. It's not worth it. I'll use destruction. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet, and now Titus Mead the second is as good as dead. Yeah. Oh yes, and I've decided you will have the honor. Of course. Hail Sithis. Yes, for Sithis. And the Night Mother. You are the listener after all, hmm? Mm-hmm. So let's not waste any more time. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. Yes. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. Jarn root. It's called Jaren root. Oh, Jaren. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. <laughs> Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Oh, I shall. It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on- It's a rare plant, found only on the island of Stros Mackay. It can be served like any vegetable. Cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. One taste will lead to nearly instant death. <laughs> so don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Hmm. It gives me the option. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. What are we doing? So it just says, "What? Well, report to Commander Mara." Okay. Should I be wearing that chef stuff? Where is it? <laughs> Look at me. I do have a, a bow and arrow on my back. <laughs> like, that's not suspicious. <laughs> Alright. I'm a little oh. busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of they have a sewer system. You look a bit peaked. You sure you shouldn't be a bit peaked? Imperial Legion, and you know what? Peaked? I'm still nervous. Hello. Stop right there. The tower is up. What's this now? <clears throat> Order of His Eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra. The gourmet. The gourmet. I'm sorry. The clothes, of course. I, I should have realized. You should have. Please excuse my <laughs> ignorance. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You should proceed to the kitchen straight away. 
I will. He liked my clothes, he's like, I should have known that dragon bones on your back. And a dragon bow and dragon bone arrows to, doesn't give anything away. Hello, Gianna. Delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. Um, excuse you? The gourmet? Yeah. Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's believe just... it. Yes. I guess <clears> right. <throat> I always imagined the great gourmet was a wood elf. You see, <laughs> only someone with the knowledge of woodland herbs could combine. Oh, yes, <laughs> but of course. <clears throat> the emperor has requested your signature dish, the potage le magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. Oh, thank you. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. Oh, we will. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Um, carrots. Carrots? Really? Okay. Yeah. What next? A splash of mead. Ah, of course. I suspected as much. One urn root. Really? Oh, I use Ninroot as a special seasoning all the time. What oh, is well, Ninroot? What a wonderful idea. I've been saying it right this whole time. I thought okay. I was saying it wrong. Now what? Um. <laughs> Dice Horker meat. Mmm. Horker. So delicious. So fatty. I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of. Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried <laughs> the away. The taste of what? There we go. <laughs> One cup of diced Horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? This one final. Oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as I'm it is. I'm the gourmet. Any other ingredient might... Now, Gian. Oh, there you go. Who's the gourmet here? <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire we empire. We prepared that shit quickly. I'll carry the stew pot mm. and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. <laughs> yes, they will be dying to meet me. Oh, where'd she go? Okay, Gianna, let's move. <laughs> Should I unequip the bow? And unequip the arrows. Just because it looks silly. <laughs> There we go, that looks better. <laughs> Such scantily clad chefs, uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> chef garb. Why don't they have normal chef garb? <laughs> it's all these stupid, uh, games do this. It's like some ridiculous armor that looks awesome on the men, and then you, you put it on the women and they're like wearing a bikini. Like. <laughs> Emperor Titus Mead. Let's see what this emperor looks like. Get that recent business with Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please. Is there anything even in there? There's nothing in there. Amazing. Yes. Look, nothing. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. I don't have to kill the emperor myself. Any tools at my disposal? Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful, but befriending one, now that's beneficial, as I'm sure you'd all agree. The gourmet! This is such an honor! Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you, the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. 
I just want to see him. Well, we're going to do this really quickly, just in case I'm supposed to do it, which I'm pretty sure I'm not. My but friends, as emperor, I think I run out I there. Of course, reserve the right of first taste. Of course, you do. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous! Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It, I, I think something's wrong. Why? Chef have poisoned the emperor. Get oh. <laughs> Run. Run. was by far the most insufferable decoy the emperor has ever employed i'm glad he's dead but i'm even happier that you killed him what you an assassin for the dark <laughs> brotherhood just made an attempt on the emperor's life would have succeeded had it been the real man oh surprised so was i when a member of your family came to me with a plan we worked out a deal you see astrid i get you and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. Oh. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Yeah? Kill her and make sure there's nothing left to bury. Never should have come here. Who's? Me, boss. All right. But you're hitting me way too much. Where'd you go, bro? Ooh. to do This is what I train Do to do to do return to the sanctuary Not fast travel there? Are you serious? Why the hell not? <laughs> okay. While guards are pursuing me, oh. Oh. I don't order the yard. Stop right there. <laughs> that was stupid. Can I go now?
Come on, horsey. I mean, she didn't care if her horsey died. Because I'm taking care of a horsey and she's betraying me? I can just kill this horsey. Oh, come on, you want to fight, wolf? Well, where you at? That's right. Now it's time. Oh, oh, oh. Fighting on horseback is not that easy. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh. We are gonna run. Apparently all those carriages can be set on fire. Now, only if they had fire arrows. We're just doing a number on these guys. Well, that's just a. This is Shadow Mirror. Increase the side trade. way to do this right now. Okay, Shadow Mirror? Oh, that's not Shadow Mirror. Oh, Shadow Mirror's going in. Shadow Mirror, get out of my way. Gotta be one on the floor somewhere. Where are these guys? Oh, could I just hit those things? Probably not. No. Hit them with fire and they explode. I'm running low on dragon bow arrows, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna move over to glass.
Now we don't want the place blowing up on us. Oh jeez. Is that a werewolf in here? going. I can't see you, but you can see me. going what's the quest say here search for survivors I'm, I'm like dying here. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Is Astrid. I assumed as much. And before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. <coughs> well, maybe I did. Saving my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. <coughs> so, thanks. Let's go. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <coughs> roasted alive. Come on. Listen, I am your only salvation. Come, embrace me. Oh, God. here it's like do I have to kill this guy too I'm like come on okay closing it just supposed to be outside of it Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I guess the Zero's dead. Take a nap with you, bro? Hurry, Nazir. I'm telling you, he's in there. 
I'm going as fast as I can, you stupid she-devil. <laughs> I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now come on, you've almost got it. One more pull. There. Can you get it open? I think so. Just hold on a moment. You must speak with Astrid. Here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. She set me up, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. Been through a lot. Maybe Doesn't look that bad in here. Oh, well, in that case, lead on. I'm right behind you. Let's go. Doesn't look that bad in here for a place that just uh, got burnt down, huh? Wait a while. Thank you. You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. <laughs> Shh. Please. There is much I have to say. And not much time. Mm-hmm. Better start talking. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus. Marrow. He said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. He lied. Oh, by Sithis, I was such a fool. After all, all I did. It's all my fault. It is. You are the best of us. And I nearly killed you. As I've killed everyone else. Mm-hmm. Now you're all charred. No. Don't pity me. I deserve whatever fate the Dread Lord has in store. I betrayed you, and now Vero has betrayed me. Fitting. Yeah. I just wanted things to stay the way they were. Before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before you. <laughs> I thought I could save us. But you were wrong. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. A, a chance to start over. Ah. Rebuild. I don't know if I want to do this. I did this. I got the blade of woe. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. Oh. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. <sighs> you lead this family now. I give you the blade of Well, I already took it. I already so took it, honey. See it through. You must kill me. Okay. Let's see this blade of woe. Absorbed 10 points of health. Thank you. She died and said thank you. I hadn't heard it with my own ears. I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Strangely, I feel only pity for her. She said don't pity her, bro. So this blade of woe, I can't really... It's a Daedric artifact. Hello, Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. 
What now? But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mede II must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in White Rock. This Armand Mortier again? He will know the true Emperor's location. Okay. But first, oh. inform Nasir of your plan. I don't know. I inform all these people. But I almost died. You die. are the listener and must bind this family together. Okay. 